Hello, welcome to Silla Vitero. I hope everyone is doing very well. So, hello, let's take a look and see what's going on with you. Let's take a look and see what's going on with love and all that uh, good jazz. Um, what's going on with your person, like the person that you're thinking about. The person that's on your mind constantly. Not that other person, but that one person that's always on your mind. The one that you're wondering about. Okay, let's see what's going on. See what they're thinking. Self-love ghosted. What's going on with this? A lot of you feel like you've been ghosted. Self-love is definitely a priority at this time, according to spirit, clearly, right? Even though I've been ghosted, even though that I feel like I've been, hmm, so maybe not ghosted, but maybe, you know, I feel like you haven't been making me your priority, but I'm going to work on myself here, right? So I feel like a lot of you are doing that. Finding yourself, working on yourself, finding the best part of yourselves. All right. Reunion just wanted to pop out. So we do have a strong reunion energy coming in here for a lot of you. Um, the two of you coming together, the two of you working this out, the two of you, you know, um, working on this chemistry vibration. There's a strong chemistry between you two that can't be broken. It just can't. Um, now, I do feel like, of course, you know, a lot of you feel like, you know, I'm not chasing anymore or I'm not um, putting myself in a position where I'm going to be taken advantage of or my emotions are going to be taken advantage of. But either way here, there's this reunion in love. Okay, there's this reunion between you and this person and the chemistry is going to spark. There's a spark here. In love a lot of you have met someone new and it's like I didn't think this would happen to me again I didn't think this would happen I didn't think this stuff you know this would come true for me and I feel like a lot of you have met someone new and the chemistry is off the charts between you and this person all right take it how it resonates for a lot of you but whoever this person is on your mind I feel like it, it instantly felt like a past life connection why because it was just genuine it was just that intense for the both of you, okay? Um, and we have, I will never forget, okay? And again, I'm just getting this vibe of a past life connection. Like, why do we vibe so beautifully? Why do we just speak and connect? There's something here. There's something going on between the two of you, uh, the two of us here. And I feel like this person is someone here that's maybe thinking about this a lot, reminiscing about this a lot, longing for you. All right. Uh, let's see. What is this person's energy, though? Give me more about this person's energy. What's going on with this person's vibe for my viewers? thinking of you yeah I keep thinking about you I think about you it's a dream come true didn't expect this to happen is this recording didn't expect this to happen this happened out of nowhere this is something I've been manifesting here you come okay I feel like for some of you if you haven't met someone new of course this is a past person connecting here and this is someone here that's thinking about you constantly and now viewing you as somebody that they truly want to commit to why because you're just different from the rest you're just different from the norm and I feel like this is someone here that wants to connect now I do see this person being someone that is highly really like uh, invested in their work from what I'm getting it's like I'm highly invested in myself as well it may come off as selfishness as, at times but I don't get this person's really selfish I just get that this is someone here that's like trying to figure themselves out in the midst of trying to balance things out between the two of you and of course I see a lot of my subscribers in this place where it's like okay well do your thing but let me know when I'm a priority <laughs> Right. Let me know when I'm a priority. And I see you doing that dream come true messages, of course. And this came out in the last energy. I see a lot of messages between you two. Speaking a lot, connecting a lot, you know, reconciliation. All right. If you guys had some sort of break for a little bit here, I do see a reunion happening. Tell me more about this connection that my viewers are part of. Okay. Especially if you're driving a... What is that? A two-door? Someone here driving a two-door here? And that just popped up, so I said it. All right, Spirit, what else do you have for this connection? 
All right, for some of you, you talked about a vacation with one another, or you talked about traveling, or you talked about... Okay, let's see what else we have here. We have honeymoon energy. We have honeymoon energy. A lot of you, it's like there's something so intense between the two of you. There could be traveling. A lot of you could be in this place where you're speaking to this person and telling them some of the things that you enjoy, some of the things that you like. Tell me more about this connection that my viewers are part of. I hope a lot of you are not dealing with two people. We have engagement energy here. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Mm. But it also says release your ex. And, and again, this is for some of you, right? Someone here needs to release their ex. And what I mean by that is release what you went through with your ex. Like, uh, try not to project what you went through with your ex into this new energy, fear, right? Control, those things. Those things will sabotage the relationship. And it could be the person that you're dealing with that may be bringing in that energy of, well, I'm still not, um, you know, completely healed from my past, which is okay. That happens to all of us. But at the same time, don't bring that here. Okay, don't bring that, uh, what is it? Uh, don't bring that king of swords here. Don't do that. Because when you do that, you're stepping into this place of, I have my guard up. I have my sword up. I'm not ready for something new. I'm not ready to open up. I'm not ready to be vulnerable. And someone here again, spirit is saying, not me. It's saying, release your ex. The time has come for you to clear your energy. Okay, whether this is you or your person doing it, someone here needs to do that. And I feel like once that happens, pay attention to red flags, we have a honeymoon and engagement here. So a lot of you may be stepping into a new relationship with someone. Someone here is ready to take that step with you. Okay, they're ready to invest. They're ready to love. Why? Because you are a dream come true. You're a dream come true, of course. Um, and I do see messages coming in. All right, from your ancestors, messages coming in from your family. For some of you, your family is going to say, yeah, this person's it. I like this person's vibration. I like this person's energy. And for some of you, you're just going to intuitively know, like, I like the way this person moves. They're healthy. They like to communicate, right? They're not flaky, right? Um, what they say, they do. They do what they say. And they don't backpedal. So I feel like a lot of you are going to step into a place where you're going to move in with someone here. I'm also seeing moving in energy, traveling energy, right? Passion, intense energy happening between the two of you. Okay? So let's get some more info. Let's get some more energy. Let's see what else, what else, what else. Tell me more about this person that my viewers are connecting with. I keep feeling two people, but I'm going to let that slide. <laughs> All right. What? Tell me more about this person. What do my viewers need to know about this person? Oh, very quiet, very secretive person that you're dealing with. Okay. This person could be extremely secretive about abandonment about their finances, about what they may be going through, about how they feel like they've been abandoned. This person could be very quiet. It's like when you're around them, you're like, talk, say something. Like, what's really going on in the background? If they are talkative, I feel like this person may not be telling you exactly what's going on with them or how they feel about you or how they're afraid that they're falling for you. Because we also have thinking of you here, right? It's, I feel like this person's very calculative. This person's watching you. This person's quiet. They don't really tell you much. And, and it, even if they are talking, they're not really straightforward. So some of you may not trust this person because of how they come off very secretive, right? Tell me more about my viewers. Anything about my viewers? Tell me about my viewers, Barrett. Anything about my viewers, please? That we need to know. All right. A lot of you are ready for something real. Let's go. I'm ready for something real. I'm ready for something solid. Like, cut the bullshit. 
right? I'm ready for something serious. I'm ready for something that means something, that has value. That's where you stand at this time. A lot of you could be extremely focused on your finances, looking for someone stable, looking for someone that has stability, looking for someone that keeps their word, looking for someone that's emotionally available. You see that? But I feel like for a lot of you, it's like, I'm ready for something real. And I feel something deep with this person. I'm open. A lot of you are open. You're opening up to this person. You're feeling vulnerable with this person. And you love this person. All right? A lot of you have been on this mission. It's like I've been working on myself, working on my career, working on my finances. I haven't been spending as much. I've been doing good with myself. I have faith in my achievements. But I feel like a lot of you are just waiting for someone here to just be honest, be real, be straightforward. Love is coming in for a lot of my viewers, a lot of my subscribers, <laughs> period. Right? Dream come true here. This is just all positivity, honestly. Right? This is positive love, positive energy. And I feel like a lot of you are going to connect with someone here that wants to work on things with you in the future, wants to live with you, wants to invest, wants to do the long-term gig. This is what I want to do. And I feel like messages are coming in, right? This is clear. Dream come true, right? We have engagement, honeymoon. Pay attention to the red flags here. This is important. Pay attention to the red flags, meaning if some of you are dealing with another person, pay attention to the red flags. And also pay attention to the red flags regarding yourself as well. Am I projecting? Am I, you know, acting out of fear? How am I acting in this relationship? Am I giving and this person's not giving? Is this person not giving and I'm over giving? What's the deal? Whatever it is, I feel like a lot of you are paying attention to those red flags here, right? I'm not comparing you to my past. I'm comparing you to who you are, really. But someone here is extremely secretive. And I feel like, you know, if this person doesn't start to communicate their truth, there's going to be an issue. Because I do see love coming in regardless. So if it's this person here in the past that doesn't know how to communicate, I feel like a lot of you are still going to find someone here that's very open, right? We have two energies here. A lot of you are going to move forward and actually connect with what your vibration is on. So it's like we're not playing any games, okay? So that's basically what's going on. Messages coming in. Listen to your intuition. Always. All right. Uh, let's get some final messages here for you for my beautiful, beautiful subscribers. Get the vibes here. All right. What are the messages for my subscribers? That was quick. Even if we never meet again, you will always hold the key to my heart. You guys are connecting and just really really leaving your mark on someone here i feel like a lot of you are making decisions for yourself making decisions that are going to allow you to evolve here we have the star energy that's hope that's that's more so like i'm open to whatever the universe has for me i'm open to that I'm not settling okay that's what it is even if we never meet again you will always hold the key to my heart Someone here misses you. Someone here thinks about you a lot. Someone here is constantly thinking about you. But maybe afraid of telling you. Afraid of texting you. Thank you. I have always loved you and I will always will. I always will. I have always loved you and always will. I'll always love you forever and ever and ever. You're different. Okay, so some of you, again, it's like you know exactly who I'm talking about. I'm healing, but it is a work in progress. Hmm. I'll talk to you soon. Have an amazing one. Of course, stay positive in love, right? Love is just all around us. Be the leader, all right? Um, show people how to treat you. Show people how to love you at all times. And I'll talk to you soon. Rest in peace, Robert. I love you.